Hi everyone, this is Nikki, uh, Nikki, otherwise known as Happy Loss. We will be continuing with the series of Q&A on transgender experiences. In this one, the questions will be about comfort with going out and using toilets. This whole Q&A is not going to be an easy one and will very much depend on where in the world you live. So my, take my advice carefully and consider your own environments. So let's get into it right after this. The question was, how do you get comfortable with going out? Hmm. Um, there are topics which I'm going to cover in a later Q&A video, which are relevant to this one. So we will take this one on the, with the view that you just want to go out. Realistically, there is not an easy magic little bullet for this one. You could stay home and not let the world see you, or you could go out and show the world who you are, safely of course. The only way to get comfortable with going out is by going out. I experience a lot of anxiety, not because of my past, but social anxiety and just leaving my house any normal day. The only way I manage to combat it and keep it in check is to do the hardest thing and be amongst people and leaving my house. But I digress a little. The only way I get, got comfortable and with going out and showing myself was by doing just that, going out. I did it safely at first with family and friends, but that was, that is how I did it. Yeah. Looking back at the experience, while I was not fully aware of, of it, what was going on in my head, um, it was that I knew I, who I was and that I am trying to live my life the best I can. Nowadays, I can see that people are people who are, some who are assholes, some who are not. But for the most part, people do not give a damn either way. But they will if you make it an issue. They are too wrapped up in their own heads so they will react to your own reaction or at least what you think they are thinking. It comes down to attitude. Don't get me wrong, there will be some that will make an issue of it. But ask yourself, are you better off to fight or walk away? Sometimes the fight is not worth the safety and you are better to just, just to walk. Okay, this is a tricky one, and it depends on so many different things. Some places legally will have issues with you using toilets of your identified gender. It depends on the, what country you are in and their laws. So I am going to take this from where I am living and the requirements at the time, seeing it was 22 years ago. Things on the whole have got better here in Australia since then. I remember talking to my GP and psychologist at the time about this issue when I was initially transitioning and they both thought it was better for to give me a letter indicating that I was medically transitioning at the time. I carried this for some time. Um, in fact, it was a couple of years after surgery that I stopped carrying that letter. I did it just in case someone stopped and questioned me about what I was doing in those toilets. Over the 22 years since I have, since I have never been stopped and questioned, but this is Australia. I do not know what the big deal about it is in the end. You think that someone is going to go in there if they don't want? Just because there is a sign on the door indicating one gender does not stop them from walking in. And realistically, I only um, am in there to fix my hair, do my makeup and go to the toilet. That's it. So my advice would be go in there like you meant to be there and do what you need to and leave. It is sometimes more dangerous to go in the other toilets. Anyway, that is my view from someone who is living in Australia. If you like this content and would like to see more on motorcycles, art and sex related content, 
don't forget to subscribe and press the bell to be notified of any updates. See you next time. Bye.